A pleasant good evening to each and everyone in Georgetown, Guyana, the diaspora, and elsewhere. Friends all. Today I'm going to deal more about the Guyanese in Guyana and out of Guyana. Let me start with my African descendant first. I heard this word every time, and I give it the way you all give it. Instead of saying European, I give it the way you people talk about it. The white man enslaved your ancestors. The white man have done so much a cruel thing to your ancestor. If you got a chance, I think you will wipe them off the face of the earth. But you forgot one thing. But before I give you what you forgot, let me come to this faith. Who is benefiting from the slave trade? It was a business. Who is benefiting from it? I'm asking you all a question. And I can repeat. Pilots, doctors, scientists, great teachers, storytellers. You couldn't do that in Africa if that didn't happen, isn't it? Maybe you wouldn't have burned. Who knows it? I got your blood in you. And you continue. But what have you done to your own sisters and brothers in Guyana and maybe the Caribbean too? Tell me. You breed your sisters. You call them child mothers. They're cattle. They're so illiterate, they call you child father, the material father. But yet you condemn the European, the white man. Friends, and you the Indian, you started this nonsense about day of arrival. Indian, you can go back. You speak the language, you sing and dance the song, but you don't even understand it. you lucky to born in an English-speaking country. You're very lucky, but you cannot speak English. The decent one and educated one who can do keep away from you. Because Indians came from a thing called caste. So those with money and education believe that you all are the lower class. No good. I was humiliated and insulted from Indian men and women. The stupid one, the uneducated one. I grew up between the two major races and I got your blood in me. I never heard a black woman or a black man, I use the word how you use it. I would say African descendant or Guyanese. I give it to you, you all speak. Insult another African brothers, which is Guyanese blacks, as you want to be called blacks, Guyanese come out of Much less to insult me. I never heard an Afro Guyanese insult me the way Indian insult me. But insult for me is nothing. I learned that today I can turn it back into your face. You think you're better than everybody. In your own family, you have problems. Robbing, lying, killing, and cheating against one another. Friends, and you're talking about civilization. You got far more to go. Today, in Guyana, and I'm speaking to the African descendant and the Indian. Why the Portuguese and Chinese don't talk about slavery? They arrive from two different countries, Portugal, China. But they don't talk, so the real sense of Guyanese is a native Indian who's younger Indian or Arawak. The nine tribes, followed by any mixed race, Followed by the Portuguese and Chinese, there's only the two of you, one emancipated, but not going back to Africa. Why don't you all go back? And for everyone that arrived in the continent of Africa, ten must take your place. Come on. And you, India, you arrive with your visa, run out yet? Go back to India. Because you're so illiterate, Pakistan is India, divided because of religion. And you Hindu people don't like Muslim. It's a proven fact. And some illiterate Muslim don't like you all Jew. Treat for you all are the same breed of people. Same genetics only divided because of religion. And today, we have that same problem with our African brothers in the continent of Africa, which was another name, tribalism. One tribe fight the other. Slavery was a business. 
Today, we are working as a slave economically. You have to pay bills. You have to buy food. You have to pay for your education. Even the water you shovel. Friends, when we all sit down and analyze where this world is going, and between the two races, you African descendants believe in God more than any other race. Whether you're a Muslim, a Christian, if you're a Hindu, you believe in the teaching of God. But for some reason, if the Bible is true to the Quran and Muhammad was a black person, who he went to war with, not European, not East Indian or Chinese, is own. If Jesus was black, as the Bible says, who put him on the cross? It wasn't European. Who was Pharaoh, Nebuchadnezzar? Ladies and gentlemen, we, the modern people, and you, the younger generation, come off of that. Come off of that. The European as the white man and woman, they were slave to. They were slave to their own. Spain was ruled 700 years by the Moors. I used to say 400 until I was educated and made to understand for 700 years. I've seen a lot of art around the world and a lot of books coming out. Who was the first king? Who was the first this and first that? And of course, is the African descendant. Why you lost all of that? Stand for a reason. Something of created make you lost it. Think, was it that you was unfair to God Almighty? Was it that you was not listening? Was it that you were taking advantage on your own? So the Lord decided to make another race rule you? If it was a human race, but I'm giving it to you in your way. Friends, I beg of you, don't listen to corrupt preachers. Religion is a segregation, is a barrier between you and others. Christian. Hindus, Muslim, Buddha, and whatever. There's a lot of differences between y'all. Everyone believes they have the right imam, the right preacher, the right religion. But all point to one way, the Heavenly Father. The heaven and hell. All you have to do is to do what is right for yourself, your family, and humanity. And keep out of trouble. Politician comes and tell you, things to stir you up, but you don't see them in the street killing one another, fighting, they criticize, <laughs> but they let you do the nasty work. When you get hurt or get prisoned or get killed or get crippled, they're driving in limousine and you cheer your bodyguards in them. Wake to hell up. This world is changing. You only see the politician when they need your vote, six or seven months before. Take Guyana. You the Indian know you are right, so you met some money there like Columbus. You the blacks know you get there by slavery, but you still hold on to Mother Africa and your language of white man slave you. What you have done to the Amerindian in Guyana under the burden government. What y'all in uniform have done to their women. And you Indian too who enslaved them and maybe do them the same thing. But between the two of you, one is very corrupt, spiteful, covetous, and grateful, and very revengeful, you the Indian. I got your blood in me. But you the blacks, you're quick to get into confrontation because you are not educated the way you're supposed to be. But the educated one on both sides, Indian and black, don't get involved. But Fortunately for them, they corrupt the uneducated one, the stupid one, the hungry belly one on both sides, and got you all fighting one another while they sit and watch it. And when they become kings and presidents and emperor, you got to guard them, be their servant, and they dishonor your women, your daughters, and maybe your mother. Think of it, both sides. When will you all wake up to reality and understand we are all passing through? And when you talk about slavery, my black brothers, you, you love God, you read the Bible, what he says in the good book, I make man in my own image and likeness. 
And from your sweat you shall eat bread. You mean he didn't give a piece of fish? A little butter? Jelly? A piece of cheese? He said you shall eat bread. He didn't even give you a little coffee, milk or tea? Or a glass of water? But the European slavery as you talk about, you was eating and drinking, I was even given an education. Today you are doctors, scientists, lawyers, you are leaders, you drive your fancy car, some of you know you play in helicopters, some of you are billionaires and millionaires, great musicians, but yet, what have you sent back to Mother Africa to your ancestral links, where you still have family there annoying to you? to help them to come out of what they go through with the same corrupt politician who's black people like yourself. Think of it. I use the word because you all believe in that. I would say African Indian and Chinese. Okay? Because I believe where you're born is where you belong. We all came from somewhere. If we came from Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden is in Africa, then all of we belong to Africa. But we spread out. Even the European, even the Chinese, Friends, come out of this hypocrisy and look to the future. We all have a short time in this world. We have a right to unite and make life better for each other. Stop the backbiting. Stop the insult. Stop trying to believe you're better than somebody. Stop fighting for land that don't belong to you. Stop taking bribe and denying people justice because I tell you what karma is a wonderful thing and one day you go to wake up your children might suffer because of your sins said Jesus the generation shall answer the call what else can I tell you friends what else tell me sometimes I wonder if I am a madman I saw President Ali, opposition Barat, and I think the Prime Minister, three in one. And I have nothing against these gentlemen. But if there is a God, he knows who's right and who's wrong. <coughs> and if you remember, Jesus was on a cross with two thieves at his corner. But God will decide the future of all of us. Nothing lasts forever. And power does not stay into their hands with a person forever. Learn that. People use a word and say, Vengeance is the Lord, said the Lord. But the Son of God, Jesus the Christ, says, Do unto others as you would like them do unto you. Which means, if you kick me, I will kick your ass back. Only time, that whole letter word. And even if I cannot do it because you cut off my foot, I pass it down to my generation. And for those who you know you might kill, but for those who you don't know, they might be the one wipe you off the earth. You might say, I am preaching violence. No, I am only repeating what Jesus said and trying to show you there's a hundred ways to come. A dog and my goats or a snake. There's a hundred ways. Today, I must admit, I've been around the world. I have seen dictators, educated people gathered together to fight for what is right. India is religion. As Moody say, India is for Hindus. Some Arab countries the same. I want to give my condolence to the Jewish people who lost their family and this war that's going on steady, as much as to the Palestinians who have been slaughtered every hour, every second, every minute, every day, and the people in Ukraine, and to the fighters in the land of Africa, the continent, who are fighting each other, but yet blaming the colonial master who was once there. Today you are free. Why y'all cannot unite and make the continent a wonderful place that unity and love can be there? 
Same goes to India and Pakistan and Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Friends, I am watching this thing very carefully. Every crime that you all commit against an innocent man and woman, it shall return to you all by tenfold. Your children and your children's children shall answer the cross for you. I believe in that. Our hands are clean, but for all of them who was wrong, may God have mercy upon you all. But me, I will pity you. I tell you the truth. Revenge has been one of the greatest gifts on my breakfast table. I'm telling you. Because the Prophet Muhammad as a Muslim can go to war and he's the last messenger, I don't refuse to go to it to defend my rights once I did you wrong. Sometimes you got to let the giant know you're willing to challenge him so much his soul. Little David the shepherd make a giant by the name of Goliath had to lay down dead with a slingy shot and a rock according to the biblical teaching. And according to the Indian story with Rustam and Sharab, where Rustam killed his own son not moving because maybe he had an affair with the woman, the boy born and grew up and he didn't know him. So they went to war and he killed his son. And many others, the story with Taras Bulba, when he told his son, I give you life and I will take it because his son fell in love with his enemy daughter and he shot him on the battlefield. I can continue to give you history of leaders who takes the law to even wipe their own family out for justice and principle. Guyana happens to be one of the most English-speaking corrupt countries in the hemisphere of today. And for the population, is very divided between Indian and Blacks. We tried the PNC. It was not for the Gyar coalition with Bodom, Guyana would have never have an independence and the Indians might have been killed out according to the extorting plan under JFK, John F. Kennedy, President, and Dean Ross and others. Because Dr. Jagan want to bring communist ideology to Guyana. It was not for the peacemaker Peter Stanis Degar, you wouldn't have called a country and celebrate independence. So every time you celebrate the independence of Guyana, remember the honorable Peter Degar. The only man that turned his richness into shareholder so every race could have it for one dollar a share. Are you two major race not ashamed? But you listen to these men and women because they are from your own race, as you say, black or Indian. Friends, an opportunist don't have friends. Take it from me. They are users. They are abusers. Wake up to reality. All right? Politician tell you, put me there and I do this and I do that. Are they magician? We might as well bring some magician from Africa or India. They might pull a rabbit out of my heart. They might even reappear and disappear. Maybe we need them to be leaders instead of having hypocrites promising you everything but can't deliver nothing but full in their pocket, taking care of their friends and family. And when you rise up against them like the left out of Randy, they get you killed by one of your own. But let it be known to the killer. When you kill for politician, or businessmen, India, they're already telling how many people who will do the killing and what they to expect. Some of them would even leave the country and go out for it to happen. Like the late Jenny Jagan, when he walked out of parliament, for how many months? Just to give Burnham the opportunity to pass all the bills he had wanted to pass. And when he finished, because he threw down so many chairs and walked out and you Illiterate Indians said, Jagan is a great man, he had a right to walk out. No, it was a deal for more than he had an opposition to pass all the laws he had passed. Scrapping the train line uh, against Booker's, Jessel, the bauxite company of nationalization. Where is y'all here today? 
I look a black sister talking, but if people live in the dam, and she's right. Why they cannot get land to build their house and money to build it with the oil, the gold, the diamonds, and the bauxite. But you look up to the leaders like if they are God. They are nothing but human like you. They shit and piss like you. They sleep like you. They do everything like you. But they do something better than you. Lie to you while they pull in their pockets. Friends, wake up for God's sake. Let's unite and form a national front government where I would not hear is a Kuli government, is a black man government. It will be the people's government. So I'm calling upon you all, every one of you, when I've learned to build your house and money to help you. And while the a good administration, whatever is the aisle profit, every guy in his family shall be given a check every month like the late Colonel Gaddafi. And remember, America gets what America wants. And we must open up the country to Mother Africa, where you started from, and India, China, Portugal, and for the Caribbean, and Venezuela, and others, and stop the border dispute where we all can live together as brothers and neighbors and go forward and hope that one day we will wake up in resurrection or whatever and be proud of each other. Thank you. And I am your host, George Corrine. Thank you for listening.